All right, let's cross over to Tel Aviv and speak now to Danny Ayalon, who is Israel's former deputy foreign minister. For some analysis, welcome to TRT. Well, thanks for joining us today. Just give us a sense of what could be happening right now in uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's inner circle and what uh, discussion, what could he announce later? Does he capitulate to the streets or, or give in to his coalition and continue what we're seeing right now? Yes, Maria, uh, thank you for uh, having me. Uh, Netanyahu and his staff are pretty much uh, feeling like in a bunker, like in a siege. And uh, they're losing the street. They're losing, I would say, the political scene, although they still have a comfortable majority in the in the Knesset, in the in the parliament, but the, the streets is not with them. And there is quite a majority, even among Likud uh, members, Likud voters, that uh, uh, the reform has been done in such an amok, in such an, you know, uh, unamateur way, in such a blitz that it was counterproductive and uh, he will have to somehow eat it now. The question is whether uh, once he stops, and he already, uh, there were leaks that he's going to have a declaration pretty soon, a statement about stopping the legislation. But this may be, Maria, too late and too little. Too because uh, he made another faux pas just uh, last night when he um, fired mm -hmm. Uh, the Minister of Defense, a very popular guy, you know, a, a very prestigious uh, general, decorated uh, general, and he did it for no reason whatsoever. And uh, that even uh, brought more protesters to the streets. So right now, the dilemma for Netanyahu is whether to stop the legislation altogether, and by this, he may lose the extreme elements in his government, mm -hmm. uh, or to uh, continue with this, or at least not to capitulate all the way. Mm -hmm. And that means the streets will continue to have all the riots. And, you know, of course, they call him Bibi the, the magician. Do, do you really think that he can get out of, as you say, the, the bunker that um, he is in right now and the, the street that he has completely lost? And also, we've just heard in the first, in the last hour, uh, Israeli foreign ministry calling on Israeli staff worldwide to join the protest. So it's even the streets overseas. Absolutely. Uh, it seems like he has lost, lost uh, his touch and he is no longer, Maria, as you mentioned, the, the magician. Uh, don't forget, this is his sixth term. Mm. So uh, I think that he lost a lot of his sharpness, a lot of his uh, uh, persuasion skills and his... Um, you know, the, 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 uh, I would say the analysis, the accurate analysis that he used to have mm -hmm. about the Israeli society. What he did was he thought that, you know, he can push this uh, judicial reform or the so-called judicial reform, which would change altogether the way the government here has been um, arranged uh, for the last 75 years. And he could just go over it without any uh, resistance. Maybe he thought there would be a, just a small pushback because, quite honestly, for the last, uh, let's say, three decades, the center-left or the liberals against uh, uh, conservatives were in disarray. Mm -hmm. And every time that the, the conservatives pushed something, everything, you know, they, they, they went, you know, with a few uh, barks, but the caravan kept going on. But this was a bridge too far, and mm -hmm. he didn't realize, and this is his fault, and how, how much indeed. he galvanized this uh, left and center uh, camp. And then how bad would you say it is? How far is th this bridge uh, right now? Because uh, the ex-premier Naftali Bennett, he said what we're seeing right now in Israel, he described it as uh, uh, that Israel is in greater danger right now than, than uh, at any time since the Yom Kippur War. Absolutely, and I agree with that because uh, you see, in Israel, the, the the military, the IDF, the Israel Defense Force, is part of the people. Wow. You know, it's it's a very um, you know a popular uh, organization. So you cannot really isolate and separate the IDF from the rift in uh, in the society. And so this is basically a a, a real danger. However, and uh, the, the the real danger here 
is of miscalculations because if uh, Iran or Hezbollah may think that because of the internal turmoil in Israel, uh, they can uh, have an opportunity maybe to challenge us, uh, you know, that could be maybe the best hope for Bibi because everybody will Sorry, join Danny, together. very quickly, what do you mean an opportunity to challenge us? Let's say if Hezbollah decides to attack, okay. you know, they have uh, 160,000 rockets. And if they decide to do that, this will turn immediately into a regional war here. Okay. And what will happen here that it will unite the people in a split of a second and then all the wrath will come against, you know, the uh, external enemy. That's a very bold statement to um, end on, but we will leave it there. Thank you so much, uh, Danny Ayalon, Israel's former deputy foreign minister. Thank you so much. <laughs>